Welcome! Over the next few minutes, we will provide you with an overview of what's new in Sage 50 Canadian Edition Release 2021.2. This release includes updated features in three key areas. First, improved user experience for auto entry and other third party integrated software while sharing a company with remote data access. Second, updated bank feeds to enhance user experience. Third, multi-user optimization for remote data access users. Additionally, this release includes payroll compliance updates as from July 1st, 2021. Now let's have a look at the updated features. Great news! With the release 2021.2, RDA customers using AutoEntry can now enjoy a more seamless experience and get the most out of the many benefits offered when using this cloud-based solution. RDE users can now integrate and publish data from AutoEntry to a shared company file or shared client file in Stage 50 Cloud without having the limitation of having to pause and resume the remote data access service. It is to be noted that this update also applies to third-party software using the Software Developers Kit to optimize their integration with Sage 50 Cloud. Please refer to your third-party developers for more information. Following this release, it is now even easier and quicker to process transactions in the Match Transactions window by having the ability to post simple transactions from the first pop-up dialog. Let's take this example of recording this sales transaction. This will bring us to the new updated window where we can enter our sales invoice details such as the customer name, payment method, bank account, check number where required, tax, sales invoice number, revenue account, and the item description. The transaction can then be posted or more details can be added by opening the sales journal when clicking on more details. Prior to this release, it was necessary to close Sage 50 in order for users to switch from single user to multi user mode or multi user to single user mode. After the release 2021.2, with certain exceptions, RDE users will be able to switch from single user to multi user mode without having to close the software by going to File and switch to multi user mode. Click on Yes to continue. The company file will then reload and open in the multi-user mode. The same steps can be followed if switching from multi-user to single-user. This will simplify workflow, remove numerous steps and time previously required in closing and reopening the software. Finally, let's have a look at the payroll tax updates. If you have a support plan that includes payroll tax updates, your product update includes the payroll tax changes for July 1st, 2021. The following changes have been announced for EVA tax rates or income thresholds. In May, the government of New Brunswick announced a reduction of the tax rate applied to the first tax bracket from 9.68% to 9.4% effective January 1st, 2021. Since employees have been taxed at a different tax rate for the first six months of the year, a prorated tax rate of 9.12% will apply for the remaining six months. In April, the WSIB maximum insurable earnings ceiling was reduced to $97,308 for the province of Ontario, and this amendment is retroactive to January 1, 2021. For more details about the 2021.2 release, you can review the What's New PDF document in the What's New Carousel. Congratulations! You now know what's new in Sage50 Accounting release 2021.2.